Hello everyone, welcome back. We pick up exactly where we left off. Uh, exploring the Flamberg. So let's see. One-handed moves. Okay. Seems pretty good. And with one yeah, one-handed. Ooh, nice roll. Nice heavy. Very nice charge. Let's try with the two hand. Should say. Also, recently learned that there is a. Oh no, never mind. I actually forgot that there is crouching in this game. Recently learned that there's a crouching attack. I didn't even know about that. Anyways, uh, seems like a good weapon. Uh, very basic moveset, but uh, seems like it has great reach. Attacks are decently fast. Uh, scaling seems... Uh, let's uh, see what happens if you put like dexterity scaling on it. Let's say we go this and then we add... B scaling and dexterity, that doesn't seem too bad. It's probably not top tier, but... Flame art. What's the difference between flame art and fire? What? Let's check out that wet blade we got. Somebody please put that in the comments. What's the difference between flame art and fire? Where is the... Hopefully the wet blade will explain the difference. There we go. Red hot wet blade with a cipher grip can be used as a as some knife when applying an affinity using physical or flame type ashes of war an additional affinity of fire or flame art can be chosen thank you for explaining that game <laughs> i appreciate it ah okay i see i see i see i see so what what fire does it just adds fire to it and of course changes the scaling it seems like um, so it just adds a flat fire, but flame art changes the weapon to fate scaling, or it gives it fate scaling. Got it. <clears throat> got it, got it, got it. Okay, I see. I mean, it seems like a decent weapon. Uh, now, let's swap the weapon over to something else, so we can try this new fire move that we got. We can try the bastard sword. Actually, let's go for the... I kind of like the sword. Which is four. We got flame strike. It has a follow up attack. Okay. Judging by the cost, it seems to have a follow up attack. <coughs> Read it to be sure. And of course, it's gone from our inventory. Whatever, it's, it probably has a follow up attack. Let's see. Oh, okay, so if I. No? Undo. It had two costs, so I need to figure out how to cast the second part of it. Uh, use on uh, sorry, skills that emits flame in a wide frontward arc. Follow up with a strong attack to perform a lunging, sweeping strike. This will also coat the armament in fire. Strong heavy, that's the 
Let's control light. Let me see. Okay. So just check if there's a shortcut there. Can I interrupt my attacks with this? No. But I can queue it up. Alright, that's uh that seems pretty interesting. I wonder if that staggers in PvP or not. The first hit. Because if it does, that seems pretty good. Actually while we're here, let's what is the crouching attack? This sword, which I really enjoy the uh doesn't apply bleed though, which is a bit of a bummer. Either that or the bleed application is oh it doesn't even have bleed. <laughs> I just thought it did because you know. Okay. Pretty cool move though. Anyways, um, what is a crouching attack for this? Is a crouching attack for this? No, oh, it's the same as the roll. Alright, some pretty cool, pretty cool moves. Pretty cool stuff. How are we doing on the 32,000? Do we risk 30, what was it, 33,000 on this wall over here? It's a lot of souls. I think, oh, by the way, by the way, I was wrong. I think the sage thing is supposed to be up here somewhere. Not here, but here. So let's just go see. I just checked the map, but honestly I forgot already. Uh, um. So maybe it's actually faster to go here. I thought I would remember. Um, clearly I won't, <laughs> I didn't, so... But it might be over here. Technically I haven't been here, so... I think they probably deal a lot of damage, right? Drops poison blue. Ah. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about that lady in the throne room. Ah, jump too early. Sacred Oath this is probably a buff or something. Not too interested in those holy abilities. I know they're probably really strong. I just don't often play with the holy uh, theme. Also, I have no idea why what happens when these guys bl glow red. And where is this cave?
Here we go. Here it is. I don't even know why I care so much. I think I just want the cool set. And I'm... Obviously, I spoiled myself. I know there are some... Secret walls in here. Because I did read about it. In order to... Hidden path ahead. Yeah. Uh, in order to figure out how to... Get the Eleanor's blade. Well, I mean, this is an obvious one. <laughs> secret ahead. That probably is not a secret. Oh, well, that's probably not a secret. Okay, also should probably... Oh yeah, I forgot about that. And this. I kinda like, I kinda like having the... Uh... The FP recovery. Yeah, this seems like death. Alright, I need to try to keep an eye out on these walls. Anything that looks a bit too... Straight in its design. <clears throat> Lost Ashes of War. I think that allows me to duplicate. <clears throat> Which I. I mean, I guess I kinda understand it if you want two different weapons. Like weapon swapping, but you kinda want the same art on both. I get it. I just don't necessarily see that as the most appealing thing for PvP, maybe? But what do I know? Because maybe you would have multiple weapons with different war, uh, Ashes of War to suit different uh, situations. There. A very of group. I was just trying different uh, uh, to see if I could crowd control with this uh, Eleanor's ability. Nascent butter. That's an ingredient, I believe. Crafting material. Candle tree, wooden shield. Might as well read while our HP re regenerates. What's so special about this? Tall, medium shield, <clears throat> light for its size. Thought to represent a surreptitious prophecy of cardinal sin. The lit candle tree design was forbidden. Black Hood. I think that's... Oh no, never mind. That's not it. Silver... Foot. I think that's... <clears throat> either higher loot chance or... More money. I think. One or the other. Hood of lusterless black fabric that conceals its various identity. In this world, there is very little that must be necessary... Must necessarily be known. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. I'll probably switch to like a <clears throat> edge lord weeb look later. But for the time being, we're going with the red. <clears throat> we need the full edge lord set in order to look like one.
death ahead. That one's a bit of a toughie. <clears throat> Need to, uh, a bit more maneuverable uh, room for this one. He has an insane poise. <clears throat> No, what the hell? Come on, backstab. No, no backstab. There we go. Alright, we managed. And this weapon is so good. What's the ability called? Bloodblade Dance. My god, the damage it causes. The poise damage is just. insane. And yes, I figured that was all. Give these reward the people that <clears throat> put that up there. Golden Great Arrow. Raptor talents. All right, that's actually one of the weapon, uh, one of the loot things that I was looking for. I probably won't use it, <clears throat> but we'll see. Actually, maybe I will. Quick step. Hmm. It's hard to compare because this is obviously plus six. have a lunge instead of uh, what this had. Yeah. And the moveset seems a bit different. <clears throat> Maybe a tiny bit better. Maybe it also has better range. I don't know. I mean, I do miss the claw, but <clears throat> we have embraced the way of the twin blades. The dual twin blades. For now. For now. Who knows, maybe I'll go dual katana at some point also. That's kinda edgelord as well. And since I am an edgelord. <clears throat> a weeb and an edgelord. I cannot resist. Obvious. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> Very surprised we didn't get that loot from killing the enemy, but maybe we didn't actually kill the enemy, we just kill kill like a ghost of that enemy. 
Anyways, pretty weak, obviously, in defense. <clears throat> One second. Sorry, just had to clear my throat. Oh, I was being weird. Robe crafted with the black feathers of bird prey. Bird of prey. Worn by assassins of Raven Mount. Assassins, plural. A ritual implemented for transforming into a death bird, if only by imitation. Strengthens jump attacks. We are birds of prey, bringers of death. Now, I know that, it, and like I've read about this. I've read about the ability. It does give more jumping attack damage. Like this. I just don't know if this is like a serious build or just a joke. <laughs> because like, am I supposed to just kill bosses like this? The attack is really good, it hits multiple times. It does a lot of poise damage, so maybe it is a thing, I don't know. We'll try it and see how it feels. Worn by Assassins of Raven Mount, okay. Not the coolest, not the coolest look. If anything, I think this is maybe a bit better. Nah. I'll use this for a time. <clears throat> she gives me more focus and vitality, which does what again? Resistance to sleep and madness. And less instant death. The uh, value is very different. I mean, the helmet defense and stuff isn't that different. Right, let's uh, just use this for now until we get to a place where we can test the damage. Oh. Time for rushing in, huh? Was there a statue somewhere? Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, a second one. Okay. Right then. Let's get our friend ready in case. What the? No, 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 no. Jesus! Okay. Family heads. Okay, that was uh, <clears throat> a liar head. <clears throat> I didn't summon help because uh, that seemed like a, a somewhat unique boss. Man, that cost me a lot, actually. I wonder if I would have gotten some different loot if I killed the... Summon first. I think that was a mace, right? Flail. 
three bludgeoning copper heads attached to a handle by chains. Signature weapon of the necromancer Garrus, the heretical sage. <clears throat> the heads were made to resemble those of his wife and two children. Familiar rancor. Gently rattle the copperheads to summon vengeful spirits that chase down foes. The anguish of a spouse and children invites a cursed wrath. Alright, how are we doing on the bottles? Five bottles. That's not great. And how are we doing on life? Knife assassin. Is our friend. <clears throat> what the? I saw him. Very interesting fights, not gonna lie. Oh shit, he was behind me. Okay. Oh, give me a break. Almost had it. Heal. Jumped. No, what? What a piece of. Son. It's behind me. Oof. That was, uh, of a challenge, not gonna lie. That was very interesting. Raises attack power with lower equipment load. Uh, 
I'm actually 0.1 equipment load away from being heavy. Interesting. Um, not bad, not bad. <clears throat> that was close, that was close. I was one grapple away from dying there. I'm surprised that poison mist didn't work. Um, that's pretty cool. 